So here again is the coordinate formula for the area of a triangle given the coordinates of the three vertices. Notice the absolute value sign again because following that cyclically, the norm the way I've got it written just now, that would be x1 times y2 minus y3, x2 times y3 minus y1, and so on. However, if that point happened to be down here, if that was reversed, then the pattern would be following the same way x1 times y3 minus y2, the reversal, and then x3 times y2 minus y1, the reversal, and so on. Which means that each of those subtractions would be reversed, so you'd have the negative of the same answer, hence the absolute value sign. Still, the next part would be this. A more concise way of writing this out would be to write it down the way that it actually suggests, because that looks very much like the, the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, if only those were products within themselves. That would look like the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. If I had x1, x2, x3, putting them down the way just for convenience, and then its minor would occupy this little position, and it should produce for the main diagonal minus the other diagonal y2 minus y3. But you can make that happen. y2 times 1. y3 times 1 would produce that. Fits in with this. x3 times its minor would occupy those four positions. Should be y1 minus y2. One y1, y1 minus y2. And x2, you now it's minor. It's sine minor, of course, is the opposite way around. But I've written that as a plus, so I'll just reverse the multiplication of the determinant. x2 would be y3 minus y1. That would be the formula for the area of a triangle in determinant form. One other thing I'll have to do, I'll have to put the lines down the outside <coughs> just to take care of the case when it's the other way around. Because if you reverse two rows or columns in a determinant, then the value of the determinant would be negative. So absolute value just to give the actual value of it. Right, quickly check that formula then. Check that with this triangle. There. Put some numbers in for the coordinates. Now rather than just do that and then having to work it out some other way just to confirm that it gives the correct answer, what I'll do is I'll draw in the median because the median will divide the triangle into two equal parts. The areas of the two parts should be the same. So then I've got two divided, divided by two is one. Average of the other one is six, that will give me three. So I'll do this triangle and then that triangle separately using that formula. Triangle one. I'll just put the determinant down. I'm not putting the absolute value unless it turns out negative. So I'll put down the coordinates. I've got negative four, eight, one, three, three, 15, and then one, one, one. Half of that. So a half of, I'll just take the column here, negative 4 times its minor, 3 minus 15. I'll say plus 1 and then just reverse its minor, 15 minus 8. And then 3 times its minor, 8 minus 3. So that's a half of negative 12 times negative 4, so that's 48 plus a 7, and then plus a 15. That was all positive. And so that's going to come to 2270. A half of 70, which is 35 square units. Right, I'll check the second triangle. Triangle 2, a half of, that's going to be 1, 3, 6, negative 2, 3, 15. Put in those 1s. So that's going to be a half of, and the same again, 1, times its minor. So that's going to be negative 2 take away 15. Plus 6 times its minor, only reverse it, 15 minus 3. Plus 3 times its minor, 3, take away negative 2, 3 plus 2. So that's going to give me a half of <coughs> negative 17 plus 12 sixes plus 72 plus 15. Well, there's a minus 2, 70. Half of 70, same answer, 35 units squared. So there it is. <coughs> the determinant formula for the area of a triangle. So here it is again. The determinant formula for the area of a triangle given three points on it. Now there's something else you could do with this. 
if those three points actually lay in a line, if they were collinear, then this could be used as a test for collinearity. Since three points that lie in a straight line form a triangle with no area, a degenerate triangle, then the determinant formula for the area of that triangle should come to zero. So there's a quick test then, or well, maybe not that quick, there's a test then for collinearity using that determinant, which would be this, the area of the triangle should come to zero. So I won't need the half if it's coming to zero, and I won't need the absolute value since it's zero. So a test for collinearity of three points would simply be this, x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, x3, y3, 1, equals zero. If you put the three points into this determinant, and worked it out and it came to zero, then that means the three points must line a line and form a degenerate triangle. Further than that, you could use this expression for a degenerate triangle to find the equation of a line. Because if you knew two points in the line, say it was AB and CD, the equation of a line means the locus of all other points, x, y, such that that point lies in the same line as CD, which in this instant is equivalent to saying it's the set of points x, y, such that the two given points plus it form a degenerate triangle, which would be this condition here. So you could have a determinant formula for the, uh, sorry, for the equation of a line. So this formula would simply be that degenerate triangle formula, only using the general point x, y, and two points that are given as lying on the lines, a, b, and c, d. So that part would be the determinant formula for the equation of a line. So the next thing to do is just use that as an ending example. So here it is. The determinant formula for the equation of a line through two given points, a, b, and c, d, expressed as a determinant equal to zero coming from the area of a degenerate triangle containing those three points. Right, as an example, find the equation of the line through these two points. Well, set it out this way then. So the equation line would be this. The general point that lies in the line through the points negative three, negative seven, and five negative one would be that determinant equal to zero. Not just a case of multiplying that out using any row or column. It'll use the top row this time. So that would be this then. That means I've got x times its minor, negative 7, take away a uh, negative 1, so negative 7 plus 1, plus y, I'll just put the plus in, and then for its minor, I'll just reverse it, so it'll be 5 take away negative 3, so it'll be 5 plus 3, and then 1 times its minor, which is going to be plus 3, take away negative, so plus 3 plus 35, 3 plus 35 equals 0. So what's that then? Negative 6x plus 8y plus 38 equals 0 for the equation of the line. Or simplifying that by negative 2, 3x minus 4y minus 19 equals 0. Arrived at by the determinant formula. So there we are. Find the equation of the line through two points by using the determinant formula. That's reasonably quick.